have found oh, you. Great. The Cloud Architect at Oracle we've been working with kind of first approached me and said, you should try this in cloud. I thought it was a crazy idea. I got it. And then, oh, back to you. And back to you. Ah. There we go. So for that to run in cloud and be a fluid experience, the network speeds have to be really fast. So the, all that physics was running in Frankfurt and being transported real time over the network. If there was too much lag there, you and I would both have a bad experience. It wouldn't be fluid and it wouldn't be tangible and you wouldn't have this intuitive feel for how these things respond. Yeah, and then again, oh man, Adam is really good at tying knots with I kind of thought there was no way that we were going to be able to get the latency that we needed. We've since done measurements of latency. We're still to Frankfurt and we're getting, you know, round trip data transit times on the order of 40, 40 to 50 milliseconds, which allows you and I to have that fluid experience mm -hmm. as if that virtual object is just there in front of us. This is Buckminster Fullerene and this is a carbon nanotube. The problem with these compared to what we're doing in VR is there's, they're, they're totally rigid. You see what the deficiency of these models is, is that you don't understand anything about motion. The entire world is constantly in motion, right? That's, I think, the real power of this, is that I can give you these and you understand a whole new aspect of how they operate, how they behave. Cloud enables you to do two things, right? It enables you to do, um, it means locate people in the same virtual space who aren't necessarily located in the same physical space. Uh -huh. um, and then cloud also allows you to um, have access to really high performance supercomputers that are able to calculate the physics in real time. Because computationally it's actually really difficult to run. Like those physics models take a lot of computational juice. What we just did is available to anybody. There's a link, a hyperlink in the paper that anybody, anywhere, mm -hmm. can log in to one of three Oracle cloud servers. I think there's one in Frankfurt, Washington DC, and Phoenix. So they can choose the region that's closest to them and they can literally log in and play with all the molecules that we just played with. I'm hoping that the paper inspires enough interest that people that are interested in VR for non-gaming applications will try out what we've done.